Hi, my name is oh sorry. Hi, my name is Julie Pierin and I'm 29 years old. I'm from Shawnee, Oklahoma, and I need the biggest loser's help to lose weight. Um currently I am five foot, almost five inches, and I weigh 210 pounds and in the grand scheme of things that might not seem like a lot compared to the other people that you see on the show, but of course, um, I am considered obese and I need some help. Here is what I look like. Um, I used to be a music teacher. I taught elementary music in Kansas for a couple of years and then moved to Oklahoma. And now I am currently staying at home with my son. And I've enjoyed it and I thought this year was going to be a new year. I was going to be home. I was really going to be um, working hard. and. It really just didn't happen in the biggest culprit. Stay tuned to find out. So this is one of the biggest culprits um, that I use as an excuse. And it's not just the TV, but specifically TiVo. TiVo is my best friend. In fact, my son even knows who the little TiVo guy is. I love TV. And I don't even like good TV. I'll just watch it to watch it. And... I like to think, oh, you know, I'll exercise during the commercials. I don't. I fast forward through them. Oh, I'll, I'll at least do something. I don't. Three hours later, I realize that I've spent three hours in front of the TV. And, um, yeah, it's kind of like an addiction, too. I don't have to have it, but I feel like it has to be on. However, staying at home has also made me more aware because I don't want my son in front of the TV the whole time. And um, so that's helped me in some ways, but I'll tell you, as soon as that kid goes to sleep, that TV is on. All right, so here is um, what I look like. As you can see, I have um, a roadmap to nowhere. Um, after having um, been overweight before I was pregnant and then being even more overweight, um, hasn't really done justice. And here's a nice little pre side preview. Um, notice the nice uh, under boob. And today I had dance class, so of course we gotta double up the bra to keep the girls down while I'm dancing. But um, this actually is probably the biggest culprit. Yeah, don't have the prettiest arms or neck. Here we go. Or, I don't know if you can see these babies thighs. These are called the Smith's thighs. But really my biggest issue is it's my belly. It's everything is right here. My favorite thing on um, a show once what well, I don't know if I can say the name of the show. Anyway, it has a um, older overweight cartoon man and his three children and a wife who just happens to have blue hair. Don't know if you can figure out what show that is. Anyway, um, the doctor did a fat test to see exactly how fat he was, and all he did was push his belly and see how long it took for it to stop jiggling. And that's kind of my fat test. Ready? One, two, three, four. So yesterday we ordered pizza for dinner, and we ordered two larges for three people, and this is what was left over. Um, Basically, most of that doing was mine for lunch and dinner. I can almost eat an entire large pizza. And I don't necessarily do it because... Sorry. I don't necessarily do it because I'm hungry. I do it because I feel like I need to. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. That's one of the things that definitely needs to be changed. Um, I like food. And I just can't get that off switch to always turn off when I need it to. Um, even when I get myself sick, I think, I need to stop, I need to stop. And I don't. I'm an emotional eater, and um, especially moving so frequently and having a very small friendship kind of network. Um, definitely used food as my friend and that's not been what I need to. Um, take a look at our my cabinets and um, I try and do a good job with the food that I make um, even though people say you know canned vegetables aren't the best 
Um, for my family, I think it's better to eat canned vegetables than no vegetables at all. And we do try and eat a lot of beans for protein. Um, unfortunately, some of the bigger, more difficult things is pasta. We eat a lot of pasta and um, don't really add any other healthy stuff to it. And we also are very big fans of the pancake waffle breakfast. Breakfast usually consists of cereal or um, peanut butter toast or fruit of some sort. Um, and then every once in a while, yep, we sneak in the dreaded cheese ball snack. Of course, um, they are said to have been made with real cheese, so that makes me feel a little bit better. But when I actually read it, mm, not so much. I try to be a good mom, and even though I might not be in the best shape, I do make sure that my son is definitely eating his fruits and vegetables and going outside and playing. I'm out there with him, but I just get tired. Uh, you know, when I first had a kid, I thought, I'm going to do better by him. I'm going to make sure he eats right. And so far, he's doing a great job. I don't know any other kid who will um, ask to eat broccoli over chocolate. That's totally my son. But I am afraid of the time when uh, he clears his plate and then looks at my plate and says, Mommy, how come you haven't eaten your vegetables? Not looking forward to when that happens. So this is my closet of clothes. Of course, I hardly wear any of these outfits. Number one, because I don't feel comfortable in most of them. Um, and number two, it's just hard staying at home. I sometimes just don't feel like I necessarily need to get up and dressed necessarily in the best way. So my closet pretty much goes unused. The one thing that you'll almost always see me in, and I know it's going to be hard to see, these black pants, mostly because they have the elastic waistband. I wear these pants. In fact, I have two pairs of them. Probably five out of the seven days a week, if not seven days a week. Um, and I'm also still wearing some of my maternity clothing because all of the weight just stays right there. And it's embarrassing. Um, luckily, I've only once um, gone back to visit my mom and had somebody ask me if I was pregnant. Note to self, don't ever ask a lady if she's pregnant unless you see the child coming out. Just don't do it. Hey buddy, what are we going to do? I'm going this way. No. I'm going this way in. You're going that way. And what are we going to do? Are we going to have a race? Yes. Yeah. All right, this is our race. We do this pretty much every day. You know what, buddy? We're, I'm going to have to go on the same side because Mommy parked the car wrong. Are you ready? On your mark? Get set. Go. go. Run. Run. Go, team. At my, there's lots of things that my husband doesn't know. In fact, my husband doesn't know that I'm even applying because in his eyes, I'm not overweight and that's why I love him. He doesn't care about how I look, but I care about how I look. And one of the reasons why I want to lose weight, um, I want to have another kid. I love my son and I want to have another child, but I keep hearing how difficult it is to have another kid and lose that baby weight if you haven't lost the baby weight from the first time. And not only have I not lost my baby weight, I'm actually heavier than when I was completely pregnant. I was so happy I hadn't gained hardly any weight for my pregnancy. Then um, I lost it all, and then I went back to work, and somehow it all came back, and then some. So I definitely want to have another kid, but also I just don't want to get intimate with my husband anymore. And I know you can't really have a kid without intimacy. Um, and I know part of it is just this big blob between my boobs and my butt. And I just don't feel sexy and I want to. I, I need that. Um, 
My husband also doesn't know that I'm a secret eater. When he is gone, I uh, pile it in, I eat lots of food. Um, in fact, just last night, I didn't want to video record it because then that makes it real. Um, I make these tortillas and chocolate chips and like I said, I don't know why because I'm not necessarily hungry, um, but I eat and I eat and I eat and it's showing. So there you have it. That's me, Julie. Um, like I said, 210 pounds. I need some help. I think probably part of my biggest fear is that when Biggest Loser originally started, I felt like they had people that were in the, you know, 200s and 250s that needed to lose weight. And then now that the show's really kind of catapulted, I feel like because I don't weigh 300 pounds, that I'm not necessarily going to get the chance, and I need the chance. I have weight to lose. Um, I need help. I can't do it on my own. I've tried to do it on my own, but I just don't have the financial means to be able to hire somebody to help me. And I, I just... I need that motivation. I need somebody to just make me do it. And I know that once I start doing it, then I'll be able to continue on. But I need that extra push. And I'm really hoping that Biggest Loser can help me with that.